It's the most common vector-borne disease in the Northern Hemisphere and in, in North America, in the United States specifically. And Lyme disease is caused by Borrelia burgdorferi. It's also caused by Borrelia meonii, which we help to identify here at Mayo Clinic. So that is one of our big concerns, but it's not the only concern. There's also other tick-borne diseases like anaplasmosis, babesiosis, Powassan virus, uh, Borrelia miyamotoi, and those are just diseases transmitted by the black-legged tick, formerly known as the deer tick. There are other ticks out there as well. So we have other ticks that will transmit the disease-causing agents of ehrlichiosis. Uh, now there's new things like bourbon virus and heartland virus. There's also Rocky Mountain spotted fever. It uh, swept through the United States back in the 90s and now is found throughout the United States, transmitted by a number of different types of mosquitoes, but specifically by one called Culix mosquitoes. Um, in many people, it can be completely asymptomatic or maybe cause just a mild illness, but in some patients, it can cause a swelling of the brain and spinal cord, and it can be very serious, if not fatal. It also has to do with human behavior. If we go out into the woods and go hiking, we're putting ourselves at potential risk, and that's something that we all like to do is go out and enjoy nature, which we should, and we should continue to do so. We just need to do it in a safe way, and so if they're child comes down with a fever in the summertime, for example, that's a sign of a possible tick-borne disease or mosquito-borne, and then they can bring their child to the doctor.